All right, uh, good morning, students. I welcome you to this class. This is Teacher John, Don Bosco Secondary School. I'm here to take you through revision in year 11. Uh, I know my student back home. We are done and we had finished the syllabus. Today, I just want to take you through revision and a proportion. Proportion is in unit six. I will uh, majorly tackle questions. So I'll take you through questions as you go uh, step by step with me. Now, I want to start by saying your exams were canceled because of uh, this uh, disease that is coronavirus, but we're still waiting for the updates from the people who are in charge of exams. So I want to urge you to remain calm and uh, be focused, do your revision at home as you wait for their updates. I want to start with question one, which I've prepared for you for this revision in the unit uh, algebra unit six under proportion. The first question that is um, y is directly proportional, y is directly proportional to x directly proportional to x if y is equals to if y is equals to 10 when x is equals to 2 now find find part a the equation the equation connecting the equation connecting the variables. The equation connecting the variables. We say y is directly proportional to x. This is a direct proportion. In direct proportion, they give us linear equations that gives us straight lines when you plot them on the graph. So we are saying y varies as x. Y varies as x. This is a direct proportion. Now, we introduce the constant of proportionality. We introduce the constant, the constant of proportionality. We introduce the constant of proportionality, which is k, so that we replace with equal sign by removing this varies. So we say y is equals to kx. y is equals to kx. Now we know the value of y in the equation now we have y is equals to kx where now we have introduced the constant. The introduction of the constant of proportionality uh, uh, brings in the equal sign. Now that gives us the equation. Now, we know the value of y. y is given to be 10. So 10 is equals to x is given to be 2. So 2 times k gives us 2k. Then we divide both sides by 2 in that we find this value of k that we refer as the constant of proportionality. Once we have the constant of proportionality, now we can replace it with k. So we say y is equals to k x. Now the equation is going to be y is equals to 5, 5 x, is equals to 5 x. That is Roman part A. Part A, we are told to find the equation that is connecting the variables. Variables are y and x. Now part B, you're told to find, you're so told to find y when x is equals to when x is equals to 6 you find y when x is equals to 6 now here we bring in the equation we bring in the equation that is y is equals to 5x we bring in the equation that is y is equals to 5x now we know the value of x we replace it in the equation in other words we're going to say y is equals to 5 times 6 so y is equals to 30. Lastly, lastly, we also have to find part C. We are supposed to find 
find uh, x, find x when y is equals to 25. Find x when y is equals to 25. Find x when y is equals to 25. No, we started by finding the equation. This is what will lead you to be finding the value of x and y. That's why we started by finding the constant of proportionality, constant k. Now, once we have the constant of proportionality, then we replace it so that we can find the equation, which is y is equal to 5x. Now, that is what we are going to also use here to find uh, the value of y. Now, if y is equal to if y is equal to 25, if y is equal to 25, what is the value of x? The value of x is going to be replacing the value of y, which is 25, is equal to 5x. Now, we have 5x is equal to 25. This is actually the same. They are the same. Now, how do we find x? We do away the coefficient. We do away with the coefficient of x so that we can find its value. How do we find? How do we do away with the value of? Uh, how do we do away with the con the coefficient of x? So we divide both sides by five. We divide both sides by five so that five and five will cancel each other. Then we know five goes to five once goes to twenty-five five times. It means x is equals to five. Now, in algebra unit six under proportion, we have different types of variation. We have different types of variation. This is the first one, that is direct variation. We have direct variation. Under direct variation, under the direct variation, as the question that you've tackled here just now, you realize that this is direct variation under linear equation under linear equation. So in proportion, we have direct, we have direct proportion. We have direct proportion. Under the direct proportion, we have two. We have those with the linear equation. We have those with the linear equation. And we also have those with non-linear equation. Those with non-linear equation. Now, at the moment, I'm tackling linear equation. That's where we are. Then also we have inverse. We have inverse proportion. We have inverse proportion. In Kenyan system, we call it inverse variation. Inverse variation. Even also, you as a student at home, you are watching this or you want to study with us, this can help you. More especially, you find this topic in Form 3, where we talk about uh, variation formulae and variation. You'll find this topic there and it will help you if you join us and uh, let us go through these questions together as we do the revision. Question two. Move to question two. Question two says D is directly proportional. D is directly proportional. D is directly proportional to T. D is directly proportional to T. This is a direct proportion under linear equation. Now, D is given to be 100 when T, when T is equal to uh, 25. When T is equal to 25. Find, find Roman 1, find Roman 1, the formula. Find the formula for D in terms of T, in terms of T. Now, there is another way they will ask you. There is another way they will ask you uh, a similar question to this. They will ask you to express D in terms of T. They will ask you to express, express T, D, in terms of in terms of t. This is the same. Another way they will ask you, which is similar, is uh, find, the, uh, find the equation. Find the equation connecting, connecting the variables. 
connecting the variables. In this here, variables are D and T. In this equation that we have, our variables are D and T. Now, listen, my beloved student, don't confuse yourself. These three questions means the same. These three questions means the same. The formula for D in terms of T, or express D in terms of T. Finally, equation connecting the variables. Variables, that is D and T, in regards to what we have as the equation on the board. Now, let's go back to the question. D is directly proportional to T. D is directly proportional to T. We can as well say that D varies directly proportional to T. D varies directly proportional to D. Now we say D varies directly proportional to T. This is a direct proportion, which is a linear equation. Now, the formula, when they ask you to find the formula, you start by getting the constant of proportionality, that is constant K, that will help us to replace this sign of varies. This sign, this sign, we call it varies. So it varies directly, proportional to T. So now, if we replace it with equal sign, it means we are introducing the constant k, the constant k, constant k. We say it is a constant of proportionality. This is a constant of proportionality. Now, having introduced the constant of proportionality, you are in a position, you are in a position to find the value of that constant of proportionality. You are in a position to find that constant of proportionality. What do I mean that you are in a position to find the constant of proportionality? Why? Because the value of D and T are already provided up there in the equation. Because the value of D and T are in the equation. They are actually given. So we say D is equal to 100 and T is given to 25. Now, our equation is D is equal to KT. Now, what we are supposed to find here is D is, is constant K. Now, we substitute D is 100 and our T is 25, meaning 25 times K. That gives us 25K. Now, we divide both sides by 25 by 25. This and that will cancel, meaning 25 goes to 25 once, it goes to 100 how many times? It goes to 104 times. It goes to 104 times. So K is equal to 4. Now K is the constant of proportionality that will lead us to find the equation connecting the variables that will lead us to the formula for D in terms of T. Now we're going to say our formula is going to be D is equal to KT. Now, we replace the value because that's what we found. We found the value of K, which is 4. Now, the equation is going to be D is equal to 4T. Now, having found this uh, formula, it will guide you to find other questions that will be asked. It will guide you or it will help you to work out uh, the questions that can lead from the equation, equation that you're given. Number part B, part Roman 2 of the same equation, you will be asked to find D when T, when T is equal to 15. You will be asked to find D when T is equal to 15. Now, we say it, D is equal to 4T. That is the question that is connecting the variables. That is the question that is connecting the variables. Now, it means we're going to substitute the value of t in the equation. You're going to substitute the value of t in the equation. Say d is equal to 4 times 15. Now, 4 times 15 is what? It can be 16. Let's see out. Now, 4 times, four, four times 5 is 22 carry two, zero carry two, four times one is four plus two, which is six. So our D is equals to 60. 
our d is equals to 60. Now, lastly, lastly on the same question, lastly on the same question, you are supposed to find t, but it's part Roman 3. Find t when d is equals to, when d is equals to 180. When d is equals to 180. You are supposed to find t when d is equals to 180. Now, it means we have to bring on board the equation that is connecting the variables. We bring the equation that is connecting the variables. That's why we had to start by finding the equation, firstly finding the constant of proportionality. Now, the equation there we found was d is equal to 4t. Now, d is already given. d is already given, which is 180. Now, it will help us to find the value of t. So we substitute it in the equation. We say 180 is equal to 4t. 180 is equal to 4t. Then divide both sides by 4 to remove that coefficient of t so that we can find its value. Now, 180, 180, when you divide it by, by, when 180, when you divide it by, 180, when you divide it by 4, it is going to give us, it is going to give us 45. So T is equals to 45. T is 45. Now, I still insist, if you're in Form 3, if you're in Form 3, join us. Because this topic, you'll find it in Form 3, and the concepts are the same. The concepts are the same. It's only that the, the, the definitions and uh, the wording, the naming of the topic in, in Form 3, you find that they call it formulae and variation. But in IGCC, you just deal with it as it is on the board. It is written as proportion. And in proportion, we have, uh, uh, it is actually uh, grouped into into two categories. There, uh, uh, there is this uh, uh, direct proportion and also we also have inverse uh, proportion. Now, question three. Question three. Why is directly proportional? Why is directly proportional? Why is directly proportional to x? y is directly proportional to x y is equal to 15 when x when x is equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 now part a express express y in terms of x y in terms of x express y in terms of x part b part b we have find Find, find y when, find y when x is equal to 10, when x is equal to 10. And part C, we have find x, find x when y is equal to 143. This is question three. This is question three. In question three, in question three, we are told, that y is directly proportional to x. This is a direct proportion that gives us linear equation. When you plot it on the graph, it produces a straight line. Then the value of y is given to be 15. The value of y is given to 15. And the value of x when x is equal to 3. When x is equal to 3. Now, express y in terms of x. Express y in terms of x. Now, part B, find y when x is equal to 10. Find y when x is equal to 10. Find, find x, find x when y is equal to 43. Uh, my beloved student, this question is for you. Attempt this question. This is your assignment. On the first part of proportion, that is direct proportion and the linear equations. Now, I want you to get this question. Do it and just, it will help you. Question four. Question four. Question four. 
Question four can be also be your assignment. Question four can be also be your assignment. Just stick with me here. An elastic, an elastic, question four, an elastic, an elastic string, an elastic string's extension, an elastic string's extension, Y centimeter, an elastic string extension Y centimeters, Y centimeter, varies, varies as the mass, as the mass X kilograms that hangs from it. The string, the string extends, the string extends four centimeter. The string extends four centimeter when a two kg mass is attached, is attached, but A, find the equation, find the equation connecting, find the equation connecting the variables, find the equation connecting the variables, and our variables here are y and uh, um, y and x, y and x. Now, part b, but b, find y, find y when x, when x is 5, then find x, but c, find x when y is equals to 15. Now, have I'd already given you assignment, and I want, as we go through the question, that is question four, together, I want us to go through that question, let's do that one with together. Uh, an elastic string extension, y centimeter, varies as the mass, x kilograms, that hangs from it. The string extends four centimeter when a two kg mass is attached. Find the equation connecting the variables. Find the equation connecting the variables. So we say y varies. Y solution here. We say y varies directly as x. Because we say it varies as the mass. That is a direct proportion. It varies as the mass, x kg, that hangs from it. Now, the string extends four centimeter. The string extends four centimeter. So this is the value of y. Y is expressed in terms of centimeter. So that is the length. Now, when a 2 kg mass, this is the value of x. Remember uh, that mass is expressed in kilograms. Now, find the question. Now, we introduce the constant of proportionality because y is equal to 4 centimeter when x is equal to, when x is equal to 2 kilograms. Now, we state what is provided in the problem. Then we find what the question is asking. First of all, can you list down what is in the problem? Now, what we have in the problem, we have the value of y, which is four centimeter, and also have the value of x, which is two kilograms. I said the extension is expressed in centimeter, and the mass is also given in kilograms. Now, we introduce the constant of proportionality. Once we identify that this is a direct 
proportion, that this is a direct proportion, which is a linear equation. So we introduce the constant of proportionality, constant k. So we're going to say y is equal to kx, y is equal to kx, and then substitute these values that you've stated here. So y is 4 and x is 2. So 2 times k, that gives us 2k. Now find that constant by removing that coefficient. Now 2 goes once, goes to 2, 4, 2 times. So our k is equal to 2. Now let's go back to the equation. We said y is equal to kx. Now k is equal to 2. So you need to say y is equal to 2x. Now this is the equation that is connecting the variables. And I told you our variables here are y and x. Now let's go to part B. Having found the equation, now we can find part B because if you have the equation, it is easy to find this one. Now find y when x is equal to uh, 5. x is equal to 5. The equation is y is equal to 2x. The equation is y is equal to 2x. Now it is y is equal to 2 times 5. It is y is equal to 2 times 5, which is y is equal to 10. Now, what is y? y is an extension, an elastic string. So it means the units here are supposed to be in centimeter because we are dealing with y, which is an extension, which is expressed in centimeter. But C, the last part, that find x, y given to be 15. So we know the equation being y is equal to 2x. It means 15 is equal to 2x because we are substituting the value of y in the equation, which is the linear equation. Remember, if we plot this, as I said, it will give you a straight line on the graph, linear equations. Now, divide both sides by 2 to remove that coefficient in that to find the value of x. So x is equal to 7.5. x is equal to 7.5. Having said that, that was linear equations. That was linear equations under the direct proportion. I also want to talk about some few questions. We got through some few questions under the nonlinear equations, under the nonlinear equations. Nonlinear equations, they don't produce straight lines. When you plot nonlinear equations on the graph, they don't, they will never produce straight lines. They give you curves. They give you curves, and we have different types of curves. I'm talking about curves. They don't. This come from the non-linear equations. They don't give you curve. They don't give you straight lines. Now, straight lines, straight lines are coming from the linear, the linear equations. Now. Non-linear equations under the direct proportion. We start this. Just write somewhere the non-linear. Direct, direct proportion, direct proportion, uh, stroke, non-linear equation. And when I finish with these few questions that I have, I will advise you as a student, go find related questions so that you can be in a position to differentiate between linear equations and non-linear equations. Question one, y is directly, y is directly proportional, y is directly proportional to the square, to the square of x if y is 100, when x is 5, find part A, 
or Roman one. They question connecting the variables. You see, the formatting of these questions are the same. The formatting, the questions are the same. But you have to be in a position to differentiate between the linear and non-linear questions. Now, let's see why is directly proportional to the square of x. Of course, this is a direct proportion. So we say y varies directly as the square of x, x squared as the square of x, meaning that is x squared. Now then, we introduce our constant of proportionality. Let's introduce our constant of proportionality, constant k, say so y is equal to k x squared. Then now, we know that y is given to be 100 when x is given to be 5. Then let's substitute that so that we can find that constant of proportionality, constant k. So we will say, we will say that uh, 100 is equal to uh, x is 5, 5 squared times k. 100 is equal to x squared, sorry, 100 100 is equal to 5 squared times k because 5 is the value of x and x is squared. x is squared. Now, if we square 5, it will give us 5 times 5. The power tells us how many times the base repeats itself. The loss of indices. The loss of indices. Go check on that. Now, you're going to have it is 5 squared, which is 5 times 5. Now, it is 100 is equal to 25k. Then, divide by 25 by 25. This and that will cancel. k is equal to 4. Now, these ones goes here 4 times. 4 times 25 will give you 100. Now, the equation is y is equal to kx squared. Now, that we know the value of k, which is the constant of proportionality, that is, we have found out to be 4, replace it. So we say y is equal to 4x squared. Now, that is the equation connecting our variables. This is the formula of y in terms of x. Part B, or Roman 2. Roman 2, you'll be asked to find y when x is 6. Y when x is 6. You are supposed to find y when x is equal to 6. Now, we say that y is equal to 4x squared. Now, x is 6, so we square 6. This means it is y is equal to 4 times. There is a multiplication between these two. Now, times 6 squared. 6 squared will give us what? 36. 6 squared will give us 36. 6 squared will give us 36. Now, 36 times 4 will give us 144. That means y is equal to 4 times 36. Our y is equal to 144. Finally, part C. Finally, Roman 3, all part C. We're going to have to find the value of x when y, Roman 3, find the value of, uh, find the value of x when y, when y is equals to 64. You're given the value of y. You've been given the value of y. Now find the value of x. You can only be in a position to find the value of x and y when you have found the equation connecting the variables. When the equation, when you found the equation connecting the variables. And the equation that we found here was y is equal to 4x squared. Now substitute that y. 
substitute that y. So we are going to say 64 is equal to 4x squared. Divide both sides by 4 by 4 so that we remove the coefficients. Now x squared is equal to 64 over 4. My beloved student, at this point, we need to remove the square so that we can remain with the value of x that they want. How do we remove the square? By square rooting both sides. To square root means finding the square root on both sides. What you do in the reactant side, you do it on the product side. So find the square root here and the square root the other side. Now, the square and the square root will cancel so that we remain with x. Now, the square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, 8 divided by 2 gives us what? Gives us 4. Now, you realize that the value of x is equal to 4. I had so many questions for you, my beloved student, so that we can go through in revision. Because of time, and my time is out, I want to leave behind this question for you. I want to leave this one question for you under the direct proportion in nonlinear equation. In nonlinear equation. In nonlinear equation. In nonlinear equation. So have this one down. M varies directly as the square root of n. M varies directly as the square root square root of n if m is equals to if m is equals to 10 when n is equals to 1 find find uh, roman 1 the equation or the formula connecting connecting the variables connecting the variables roman 2 my student m when n is equals to 4 and finally roman 3 find n when m is equals to 50 I leave you be behind with those two questions. Kindly go through those questions and ensure that you get the right uh, answers. With those few questions and our revision today, I want, you to I want to wish you the best. I want to wish you the best. Please go through these questions. I had given one question under uh, direct pro proportion in uh, in linear equation and I also left this question with you this is question two as part of your assignment as part of your assignment so go through it and ensure that you have the right answers until next time stay home and be safe thank you